We're standing here at Turning Point International Church, and we are so excited about Mothers in Crisis 25th anniversary celebration. We're going to have all the events right here at Turning Point International, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. But I have with me uh, Sister Daphne Nelson, and she wants to just share a little bit about how Mothers in Crisis was able to help her during a dark time of her life and how she's doing now. So, what, yeah. so what's been happening with your life now? How has your life changed since you've been a part of Mothers in Crisis and Turning Point International? Okay, with well, the past 10 years, um, my life has changed. I've become a woman of God. I've been clean and sober for the last 10 years. What is it, what is the ingredient, the secret ingredient that you believe that has been able to help you to stay clean and be able to be sober and take care of your child these 10 years, this whole decade? Oh, well, the spiritual teachings. With TP for um, from Turning Point International Church, along with the um, Mothers in Crisis facilitators. facilitators so, so are, how does your relationship with God play play a part in your in your ability to stay clean? Well, God was first and first and foremost the, the one who helped me and kept me. Right. Amen. So, so through through Mothers in Crisis and Turning Point International, which a lot of people don't understand, Turning Point International started out as a chapel of Mothers in Crisis, and it still kind of functions that way even to this day. So, so that the spiritual foundation of Jesus Christ. Yes. I mean, you could go ahead and just just tell the truth about who's keeping you clean. Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And we don't we don't mind saying that. We give God all the glory. And we always say, as long as there's breath in your body, there is hope. And we're talking Hope 2.0. Keep listening. We're spreading hope around the world. Thank you so much, Daphne. And God bless you. Bless you.